Hi, it's Misha. I'm in the lab again today, and I wanted to show you guys some pieces of equipment that I'm going to be working with today. This is a micro pipette. It's used to pick up small volumes of fluid into this little tip here. I can... It's not showing up very well, but I can change exactly how much the micro pipette picks up by turning this knob here. And that turns the numbers here. And I don't think you can see it. My phone doesn't want to focus, but right now it says 025, and that stands for 25, no, 250 microliters. At the very, very top here, it says 100 to 1,000 microliters. 1,000 microliters is one milliliter. This little display here goes up to 100, but it really stands for 1,000. So when I turn it to 25, it's really 250. Now, I can set the micropipette to 250 milliliters, but until I calibrate my micropipette, I'm not going to know for sure whether there are actually 250 microliters or not. So, I'm going to be going downstairs to a very sensitive balance and calibrating my micropipette on that balance. I apologize. It's noisy in here, like it was in my last video. And again, that's because there's filtered air rushing through a hood. Today, it happens to be that hood which is a little different from the one I was working with yesterday. This one seems to be for PCR, so it's a little different. That's where the air noises are coming from. I hope it's not intolerable. Anyway, it's time for me to calibrate my micropipette, and here is the balance I'm going to use. As you can see, it goes up to four decimal places, and in fact, it could even go out to five if I wanted it to. However, that's pretty specific. I don't really need that kind of accuracy for what I'm doing. So, I'm going to go out to the fourth decimal place to calibrate my micro pipette. First thing I want to do is data recording. So, here's my pipette. I have to enter the ID number, 2345, the balance ID number as well, which in this case is 2961.
I was asking for the required weight. As I explained earlier, that's 250 microliters. But in this case, I'm going to put 0.25 because it asks for it in grams. And one gram is one milliliter of water. All right, it's time for my first rep. So, I'm going to zero my scale, I'm going to suck up water, rinse, suck it up again, and I might as well zero it again. Then, I place it into the weigh boat to measure it. Hmm, it's quite low, actually. I don't know if I can do this with two hands. Let me try again. slow again, which means that my calibration, either my calibration is off or doing this one-handed is hindering me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move to adjust my knob up just a little bit and see if that makes a difference. See, I know we're too much. That's what I get. I'm going to turn it back. Now, once I start documenting my volume, I don't want to have to adjust the knob again. So I'm doing all that beforehand. There. Now we have 0 0.2506 grams. That's exactly where I want to be. So we enter that and go to the next rep. Two five zero a little high, but I think it's within tolerance. Let me check. Yes, tolerance goes up to 0 0.2550, and I was at 2.2517. Alright, now I've calibrated my pipette. I have a couple others to calibrate as well, which I'm not going to show you because I really would like to use both my hands. But I will cut to 
the next section of my micro pipette use. Alright, here we are again in a much quieter room, thank heavens. I apologize for that. If the noise if the noise is unbearable of the air, then I'm gonna have to figure something else out because there's a lot of that in this lab. Anyway, I want to show you how I will use a micropipette. What I have right here, this orangey stuff, this is human hebo <coughs> this is human hemoglobin at a very specific concentration. It is at the concentration of 250 micrograms of hemoglobin per milliliter. And that's what it looks like at that concentration. However, for the procedure I'm doing today, I need 10 micrograms per milliliter. It's a lot less. So what I have here is a volumetric flask. It is a 50 milliliter volumetric flask. And what that means is that when the flask is filled to this line, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a line there. That means that it has 50 milliliters exactly. So what I'm going to do is put two milliliters of hemoglobin into this volumetric flask and then I'm going to fill up the flask with sterile water and that will make it 10 micrograms per milliliter. I need to be wearing gloves. That's not really a bad angle. I wonder if I should leave the camera here. I'm gonna try it. First, I fill the tip with one milliliter. And then I rinse it. And then I do it again. One milliliter. Now, I'm going to fill the flask up to the 50 milliliter point with sterile water. Thank you for joining me today. And again, if you liked this laboratory stuff, which I kind of do, I tend to get ASMR from watching people in the lab do very precise, slow work, just let me know. And let me know if there's some laboratory procedure particularly that interests you. 
I can't promise that I will have the equipment to do it, but I might. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.